The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. What up, Trav Nation? It's me, your boy, Travis McElroy, and the middle is brother. Woof, woof. What up, Trav Nation? It's me, your sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy. Hi, Trav Nation. Um, I, I, I got a question I want to ask you guys. I've cool. got a question. Do you want to have a slumber party in my basement? Do I make your heart beat like an new eight drum? Is my love your drug? Go on. You guys keep your keys in your pocket? No. Trev? No. Keep my keys in my pocket. Do you keep your keys in your pocket? <sighs> do you mean ADC all day carry? Or do you yeah, mean yeah, like yeah, when yeah. it's car time? Mm, here's me, what I'm saying. There are times keep, where my pocket is the conveyance method for my keys. No. You're at your house. Okay, You're weird. in your home or your keys in your pocket? No, God, no. no. God, no. No. Well, bad news, guys. Me neither, but I've just discovered my keys are in my pocket. And oh, my I God. I do not know how to deal with this. Do you think on some level you were, like, planning to flee in the middle no. of recording? And I think that's it, know. Juice. You got to go drive, pal. I almost always leave my the keys roads in my car. The roads are calling. Your big, beautiful pal. Buick is calling you. You got to get out there. I leave my keys in my car because I live in West Virginia and there's no crime allowed. Yeah, and nobody steals catalytic converters there. For some or reason, cars. Put, you don't need keys to get a catalytic converter, Trav. I, no, but I, it helps. If you want to drive to the hurt. store and buy one. Justin, how hurt. do you pop a catalytic converter off? Go ahead and t- give us a step by a play-by-play on how that works. Well, I know it's on the outside, Griff. It's not on the inside. Well, it's, it's not, not on the not outside. <laughs> it's not in the cabin. It's, it's not on it's the so outside. Bad. It's not like the, the fusion converter recycler thing that they plugged on to the DeLorean to not have what? to worry about it. We I'm have no way of knowing that. That's fair. Let's not lose sight of the fact that my keys are in my oh, pocket. Fuck. I no forgot one... for a second, Juice. What a what a what a panic you throw me back give me into. A, give me there's like all options, all are bad. Give me any solution. Okay, to this you problem. put you take them out of your pocket, you put them on your desk. You will forget they are there when it is They're, car time. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yes. That's twenty minutes. That's twenty minutes of this precious gift of life that I will spend running around my house. Yeah, finding other things. Yeah, but not my keys. So okay. that's out. Hundred percent out. Okay. 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 Um, here's okay. All right, all right. What else do you have around you? Do you have like a smartwatch? Um, yeah. Okay, put your smartwatch, loop it, launch it through the re- yes, the, the, the key ring. A chain. Lose both. Lose both is what you're you, saying. You make it bigger. Tie. Yeah. If you have a belt, Justin, you have a belt on right now. Griffin, if I put my keys on my belt, I am no better off than I am right this second with the keys. Well, no, I'm head. taking you. So you take the belt off, loop it through the keys. Yeah. You just need to make the keys bigger. So you, when you f- go on, it's hold, easy. Now, hold on. A se- so wait, you're saying. If you take your belt off. Yeah. Okay. Make now, it- I wear Now, listen, I wear. I don't know if this changes things, but I wear. I guess you'd call it a prescription belt, um, a prescription elastic belt, mm. because I was getting a lot of tiny holes in my t-shirt from big yeah. bulky buckles. I hate and that. And so I wear an elastic t-shirt with a flat uh, a elastic belt with a flat clip on the front. And a doctor, you're saying a doctor prescribed this Or is this self, <laughs> self-prescribed? It's like self-prescribed. Self-diagnosed. <laughs> it's yeah. like a therapeutic I'm belt, just. Like Im- a I-, I was imagining a conversation <laughs> a- across the counter at Rite Aid of you like, yeah, man, tr- doctor's orders. They're, okay, okay. Can't so just I'm- sell you this belt, sir. No, 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 no. I have understand. a piece. Of, this isn't an over-the-counter belt. No, so no, I no. I have belt. a piece of paper signed by a medical <laughs> physician. This thing is so, the clip is, okay. I got the belt on the keys. What sure. now? Okay, um, can you wear it over your shoulder like a bandolier? 
Okay, okay, okay. So the pants are just gonna fall off and you're fine with that. You're no, no, sitting no. down. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to leave the room, right? So I'm gonna take this whole part. What do I do with this in my hand now? Now, listen, take off your smartwatch and okay. then loop that. Uh, wait, hold on, give me a second. Okay, smartwatch You off. should have already been doing it. You should have already done that. Put that around the belt. Now. Wait, around the belt, so I need to close the belt. Yeah, yeah so you're making like a whole... Christmas countdown ring. We okay. need to make this whole thing, this whole production as big and eye-catching as is possible. The benefit with the watch, now, Justin, you have Apple's incredible tracking technology yeah. Yeah. working for you. If you're yeah. like, where's my keys? You'd be like, yeah. well, the keys are with the belt. The belt is with my watch. The watch is downstairs. You can put it wherever. You'll never lose that fucking thing. What about, what about, the, what about the phone? <laughs> That's not in my pocket either. That's on the table. Whoa, your phone's not in your pocket? No, I take it out. I took you it should put your phone the... in your pocket, J Dog, to keep your balls warm. Yeah. No. Uh, well, okay, but my are... balls require constant wait the mag goes... safe yeah. charging. My balls are Bluetooth connected to my phone, but if they get too far apart, my balls are going to shut down. Travis okay. has a reverse crank. Crank. Yeah. Can, can I say something? Guys? Gotta keep my balls calm down. I don't Go think, ahead. I don't think I've sent you a picture where I'm at right now. I don't think. I sent it to Sydney and Travis for some reason. Yeah, oh, I didn't get this, uh, this JPEG, that's, that's sadly. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know. Voice okay, Sydney's Travis, you want to describe? Or tales of that. Um, yeah, so what we're looking at here, I would say it looks like a threat, like Justin is letting me know that he has, for some reason, his Apple Watch, and he's willing to hurt it, and so I need to give him money. Oh, uh, okay. is the way It seems like to me, this is definitely a proof of life of uh, photo here. I mean, don't get uh, me wrong. This also seems like it'd be a pretty badass weapon. Like a nice now, little Now, Justin flail. did, hey, wait, stop, 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 stop. Justin then, so he sent that picture to me and Sydney. And there then Justin no, said, it. sorry, butt dial to his <laughs> I wife and I. I wonder what the picture was. So I your explanation, I was holding up a bell with a picture. watch, and I butt dialed, took the picture, uploaded it, and sent it to you. The, cool the photo, thing. which is clearly taken from your POV. I don't want, I yeah. don't have time to explain. Juice, I'm Jay, recording Juice. a podcast. This is important. This is important. There's a quarter on the floor. I see it okay. in the picture. You should get okay. that quarter. That's 25 okay. cents, my man. Then take the picture again so we know so you did it. So do I put the quarter in my pocket and, it, and there it will stay for years No, to come. Loop, the, loop the quarter through your watch. The quarter needs to join this incredible weapon. <laughs> I can't get the quarter in. You're right. Not with no that attitude. For, no, there's no, no. There's no place for the quarter. No. Okay? Listen, Justin's right. Juice. Yeah? I don't know if this has helped at all, but you have created a pretty kick-ass little cyberpunk accessory. That, okay. uh, like, if I saw you coming down the street, if I saw a person coming down the street with a belt that had a watch and keys in it. That's Batman. That's, yeah. bat that's Batman. That's Cyberpunk that's a Batman as hell. Yeah. That's um, Techno Borg. Like. What's not, what's going to surprise him is, what's going to surprise him about it is that I have a knife in my pocket. And they're not going to think about that. Now, that's wild to me, Juice, that the keys bother you. Yeah, mm. but you will rock with an actual all day carry on but, your person. Well, I'm an, an adult. And I, I hey, have, Griffin, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. It's everyday carry because you don't sleep with the knife in your pocket. It's just that every day you put so it in. So it's not there. all night carry. It's not all day carry. Okay, but listen. It's not Drew Carry. Listen, it's wild that you think you need a knife. <laughs> All the time. I'm an adult. This, I always no, have no, no, no. Like Shush. I know that's your knee jerk response is to make me feel small, but really, really hear me out here. If I'm in a situation where I need a knife, I can usually just get one. I don't need one. I I reach situations where I need a knife and I need a spatula an equal amount of times in my day to day life, but you do not see me carrying a spatula around in my everybody, pocket. Everybody thinks that until the fucking black swan. You know what I mean? <laughs> Until the Black now, Swan, I haven't flies. seen that movie, Justin. Is that what happens in Black Swan? No, the Black Swan event. No, I'm saying it's a. It's a you gotta sharp have a knife. Like, what do you, what do you do if you need a knife? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, I have a knife, screwdriver. You know, it's a multi yeah. tool, small multi tool. Like, what do you do when you? No, need yeah, that? that's cool. I walk 15 feet to where my knife lives. I'm sitting. You're. I what also need a screwdriver. The There's park? what? What if you're at the park? If I'm at the park, why the fuck do I need a knife? Okay, I mean, any number of, like, you bought 
uh, a toy for like you bought a bank or or like a I bought a bank and I took it precisely promptly to the park. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking you about? Doll for your kids at the park and just oh yeah, 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 park doll, from the park store. Yes, I did climb out of the viaduct. Now, Travis, that's a now Travis, that's a is that in your pocket, Trav? Yeah. That's a big knife, man. Thank you. I just wanted Travis, to do like an E cheap. version of that's, that's not, not a knife. That's not a multi-tool. Like no. that is a that is a one tool. <laughs> that's a kukri. Why do you have that? No, this what is a karambit. Nice do- this is a karambit. Do you have this though. in your pocket at all times? Not at all times, but every day. I, I went can't. to I guys I have to tell you about this. I guys I have to tell you about this. We need to start went, the show though. So whenever you're this, done, okay, I will. Start. Well, I'll start the show soon. I went to go watch the Marshall game, right? Yeah, you're yeah. a real football and, head. Yeah. yeah, I love football. And I went to go watch the Marshall game, and I had my like I'm one of those little like shoulder. What do you call it, Trav? Like a it's like a tiny backpack. You know what I mean? Like a sling bag kind of. Yeah. Um, and I had it over my shoulder, and I loaded it up with all the things, all my essentials that I need for the for the game, all my different essentials. Yeah. And I get there, and they look in the bag, and they're like, looks good. Go ahead in. And by the way, there's like a 30-minute wait to get in and uh, through the line. And I get through, and at the when I go through the gate, they're like, hey, you can't, you can't bring a bag this big into the game. Yeah, it has to be. You could have another football in there that you throw (laughs) on the field to confuse all the players. A half sheet of paper or smaller, like to get to carry the. Yes, think about a folded half sheet of paper. That is their metric, which is wild, by the way. Nobody thinks that. (laughs) That's a wild (laughs) way to measure stuff. Wild way to frame it. So they're like, you can't read it. Like, okay, so I can't bring in the bag. They're like, you have to take it to your car. Like, honestly, I had to park twenty minutes away. The game has already started. There's a 30 minute line. I'm just going to have to ditch this bag. It cost me like 10 bucks. I'm just going to ditch this bag. So I empty out everything from the bag in my pockets. And then I toss the bag in the garbage. And they're like, okay, great. Go ahead in. Well, now, now we've now we've now entered a situation where they have rushed me into the game with my pockets full of two knives and weed. And that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> now, wait this, a minute. Cheers. This they're crazy about. This is good. Good. What are your pockets full of? Knives and weed. <laughs> Go ahead and sir. As long as you don't have a bag to contain them, well, it's fine. Juice, I gotta why ask. Why too? I, I gotta ask fucking El Chapo why you were <laughs> smuggling two knives and weed into one, a football game. One is my pocket knife and one is my bag knife. Like I have a I bag knife. I can't believe this is how I find out you guys are knife guys. Like Travis, it's it doesn't knife, surprise me. It's not me. a knife guy. It's just like. Just being a re- hey, be- you've yeah. heard of wife guy. Now yeah. we bring you <laughs> knife guy. I, you had two. I wouldn't knife. be here without my knife. Oh, I'm so proud of my curvy knife. I love my <laughs> big curvy knife. Um, if I so bring that- two baseballs somewhere, <laughs> and someone's like, "Hey, look, it's the baseball guy," I can't be like, "I'm not a baseball guy. I just carry two full baseballs with me." <laughs> I'm now just pulling all the knives out of my desk drawer. Travis has what? sent another picture of a bigger, more virile <laughs> knife than his first knife. I've got seven, eight. Justin's nine. knife was at least kind of cute. These are big, eight. powerful knives, Travis. This one is weathered Griffin, in a way. How many knives can you reach right now? How many knives can I reach right now? Twelve. Okay, I don't have a knife. I do have a a, a, a amateur otoscope for ear cleaning. <laughs> Okay, so I have a lock pick kit. Real quick, I got 13 here. Just 13 knives within reach. I'm sorry, Travis. I need a picture of your 13 These goddamn all, knives. Here's the difference. I want to make something clear. I am not, I do not have a knife for defense. There is literally no reality no, in no. which I, I would ever use a knife to defend myself. I yeah. know the statistics. Yeah, Take it all. This right, right, fucking no military grade metal Damascus blade Travis has just sent is definitely yeah. for. I don't know. I use it for yard yard work. I use it for yard work. That seems like a bad knife to use for that, Trav. There's so many blades in here, man. Yeah. Did you have different? This JPEG hasn't come through for me. That's too many knives, bud. So many knives. I made uh one, two, at least three of the ones sitting here. (laughs) Yeah. I'm just saying, Griff, (laughs) you should probably have a knife for this. Yeah, hey Trav, can I borrow one of your thirteen? Oh, I need I need all these are just thirteen in arm's reach. The specialized knives. Um, I'll send you a picture do, specifically of the three I made. I hope there's an equal number of people that are driven away and attracted 
by knife. I hope this is a zero sum discussion. Yeah. Of knives. Cause I remember I remember how heavily the knives knifey the knife figured into uh uh uh, worst idea of all time for a while. Tim's yeah. Tim's constant constant friend. constant companion until constant the airport. The, the mean airport took it away. Um, <laughs> all right, we've spent five. fourteen minutes on this and time. We okay, have but wait, I do devil. have a follow up question. Yeah, we've all moved a few times over the last decade or so, and Marie Kondo came and she did her best. Yeah, yeah. but I do. You guys still have a sword in your home? Yeah, I'm looking at my one right now. I got uh one, two, three uh, Travis, in this room. That's that's three too many. Travis, the yeah? arms a, reach accessibility of bladed tools you have is unacceptable. I, ha- I keep uh, there's also a lightsaber and a bow. Okay, a lightsaber, that's not that's a not visible. anything. You and a walking hey, listen, stick. That's enough. Listen, listen. This is an advice show. And today, some kids in my apartment complex knocked on my door and asked if I had any snacks. I'm a firm believer that kids should eat when they're hungry, but I don't keep many snacks in my house as I'm a broke college student. I gave them a sleeve of saltine crackers because I didn't agree- know what else didn't to already, do. Didn't we already? No, we no, started we this not. question and then it we got munch. It, it got uh, girl munch interrupted. And so. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're right. Uh, this is a make good. <laughs> it's a make okay. good um, or a make bad. Usually we will we'll see. Uh, yeah. A few hours later, they came back and asked if I had any more of, quote, any more of those crackers. Brothers, what have I got myself into, and how do I move forward? Gmail. Here's what um, I love. You, can I tell you what I love about this? Please. Yeah. Can I tell you boys what I love about this? Yeah, Trev. The year 2023. Oh, my God. When you go to the store, and you're looking at the candy and snacks for kids, everything's flavor blasted and yeah. yes. sour punt. It's going to, oh, puck you right up. I love the idea of a child eating a simple saltine. A simple saltine wow. in 2023. They just needed a break, right? Their Ooh. palate just needed a break. This really brought me back to center. This saltine did. made me appreciate the simple flavor of salt. I yes. love it. Hey, more and of this. Crunch. This generation has been ravaged by hot Cheetos and Takis. Yes. That's it, true. It's hard to taste anything now because of this. A simple saltine, nothing on it. Don't dress it up. Don't put, I see people put cream cheese, chives, locks on it. No, just a simple mm. saltine, please, for just me. Just a simple saltine. They're really good. Maybe yeah. warmed by the sun. Nature's They're, microwave. Yeah, some sun-dried saltines would be choice. Mm. You, I don't think... Man, I don't know, man. You're just giving them some saltines. I, I, I guess you'd have to be a pretty uptight parent. I don't think I'd love it. I feel like I don't really want anybody sort of feeding the kids, but maybe these kids needed some food and you had saltines. I, I'm really torn about this. I don't know. I don't now, know. Justin, hold on. Let me, can we play this scenario out? Because now I'm curious, right? Sure, Charlie sure. Cooper, they've been running around the neighborhood getting into shenanigans and hijinks or whatever. They yeah. knock on a random neighbor's door, which already I think shows uh, some, uh, some maybe not bad choices. Some choices being yeah, made. Bad yeah, bad choices. Saying, hey, can I have some food? Uh, they eat the saltines. You come, they come back home and they're like, uh, Papa, uh, a neighbor has gifted us with this wonderful, crunchy, salty deliciousness. Do we have any of these? Where can we get them from? How do you react to this? Uh, Say, I don't, I don't know. I, I have know. never seen those before in my life. Yeah, I don't keep saltines in the house, man. We're strictly oyster crackers over here. Um, now, I did assume that maybe you would focus more on the neighbor gave us saltines, like give us food. Part of that reaction, and less about the saltine, huh? Right? That's beautiful. You would just said you didn't like it. Yeah, but it is beautiful. There's lots of beautiful things I don't like, like art. I mean, I <laughs> dance. dance. Yeah, don't care for it. Dance, Opera. For Who has the time? Opera. Uh, the symphony. Oh, God. So Do most guys- artistic endeavors. Do you guys know how much I? wish I was the sort of person that was like, oh, tonight I'll be sitting through a whole orchestra show. Like a whole, <laughs> That's you know what they call I mean? them. Oh, tonight, yeah. I think I'll be taking in, um, there's a Tchaikovsky uh, ensemble I fucking... at the Metro, Metro that I would very much have heard great things about. And I'll be taking in that show. And it'll be very edifying. At the end of it, I'll feel, I don't, what do you, <laughs> like, Good or you know what I mean? Tired, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, relaxed, I'll, I'll, I'll have uh, human emotions, some sort, yeah. some sort of like thing that I'll feel as a result of it. I, um, I mean, I gotta do this just to 
stay like present here in you know art city which is what we call dc always yeah. people are doing music with big groups of people and stuff and yeah, i'm ugh. like i basically live at the kennedy center the ted a, the ted kennedy center <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, we I, also have a ted kennedy center in huntington that's the ymca pool so i was gonna be oh you know, if, you have to, you, no the kid the ted kennedy center honors was great this year i did get an invite it was invite only they recognized cherry pop and daddies yeah that's nice <laughs> see for me <laughs> fight for fighting <laughs> Yeah, Crank Yankers. Crank Yankers, Crank Yankers was there a at the Ted Kennedy Center on it. They got great. their Koozie of Freedom. Uh, yeah, the, an award, a very sought after presented award. by Jamie Kennedy. It was amazing. It is huge. Now, see, I, I, for me, the Kennedy Center is what I call the bedroom. I don't want to do that. You should give the children food. If the children come to your door and ask for your cra- for the crackers, that's not ideal. But you should give them. You should probably give them crackers because that's a good way to. That's a good way to live. I think. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And hey, hey. listen, it's saltines. It's not like they're like asking you for more beluga caviar. That's you true. know what I mean. But don't give them. You give a mouse a cookie. And the next day they want cookie. beluga caviar. That does seem. You know what? For the first time, I've thought of. Maybe how give a mouse a cookie is a little bit about, uh, let's say, conservative politics. It is. Uh, I don't think so. You don't think the idea of like, oh, give them something and they'll never worry. They want more. Capitalism, know. baby. Yeah. Make the mouse earn a cookie. That's did very you, challenging. Did you guys know that beluga caviar does not come from a baby beluga in the deep blue sea? It comes from a beluga sturgeon? Huh. That's interesting, huh? Yeah. But then again, that's fucked up. Then again, yeah. whales don't lay a million little eggs, so that actually oh, tracks. good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it tracks. <laughs> Baby beluga caviar would probably be pretty upsetting, I think, to see and consume yeah. and even really think about. Hey, can I approach the wizard? Whales are mammals. Thank what? you, Justin, for that. Wow, what a brave position Justin's taking here. <laughs> right. Listen, Dr. In case Justin, some people everyone. were curious about the egg thing, and they, I want to just save everybody a quick Google. Whales are mammals. Okay, cool. Kick ass. Hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. You need 15 sweet and romantic is stories it? to tell your girlfriend. Wait you need 15 sweet and romantic stories to tell your girlfriend. Most girls love it when their partner tells them a story, but what tale could you tell? Yawn, yawn, spinner. I love thee. This uh, the idea. Do you stories- ever with these WikiHow articles, uh-huh. Justin Griffin, my brothers? Yeah. Do you ever find that they pause it in the intro, like a everyone knows kind of like it's common knowledge that, and you're like, yeah. that's I don't know. Like you're telling me, like sit down and let me tell you a romantic story. It's mm-hmm. common knowledge that tinnitus's message is from angels, but how do you interpret? Yeah, it's um, it's very good. Sorry, there's an ad for Detective Pikachu Returns. I did not know that this Get was the a fuck game. out. It's not October sixth. It's right around the corner. Damn Pikachu! Get out. Is it straight, straight to video or no? It's a game. Game. Oh. I wish it would, they would, had the courage to make another movie. Fucking. Oh, that was a good flick. It was, it was flick. really good. So the ideal story is romantic or cute, and just short enough to make it perfect for bedtime. It should also make her feel swept what? away. Yeah, that is wild. To get you started, we've listed a handful of sweet stories you can tell, as well as a few well-known books or plays that you can use for inspiration. So this Man, is just a romantic I, story that you tell your girlfriend. Okay. I don't know why, but this is really giving me those, like, and this service is on my For You page a lot, of, like, the morality, like, tales of, like, this guy was really shitty to this guy in the restaurant, and turns out he's actually really rich and just bought the whole restaurant, and immediately the, he gets his comeuppance and gets fired. Meanwhile, this person who was nice to him, even though he was only ordering water, gets a yeah. promotion to be CEO! Yeah. My wife likes the Canterbury Tales told. To <laughs> I, that actually tracks. From what I know of Rachel, that Yeah, that actually does work. Hey, like or love, let, a, let your girlfriend know how much you care about her with this quick story. Please let me get through the stories without interrupting and making the jokes that you guys okay. make. Okay. Once a girl asked her boyfriend if he liked how she looked. To her surprise, he said no. She asked if he liked her personality, and again, he said no. Finally, she asked, do you even like me? He replied, I don't like you. 
As she began to cry, he pulled her into a hug and said, I don't like you. I love you. I love the way you look. I love your personality. And I'll love you the rest of my life. Play up the tension in the story by describing the girlfriend's reaction. Flesh it out with more details like the girl started to walk away into the rain when he rushed out to her. So, so this romantic story is about a, an emotionally manipulative boyfriend? This is, I guess, I guess, yes. This is what that is. It's a risky and, gambit. It's a risky and gambit. And I am too, to sure. if I understand the conceit of this question tonight, as my wife and I, we put on our long caps, right? Our stocking caps and our long nightgowns. We put out the candle and I say, honey, um, once there was <laughs> this girlfriend and she asked her boyfriend, um, and and then at the end of this story, my wife is then going to react in such a way where she's like, I've never loved you more. I like this. I love this. I love what you I, told there, me. But there's also the chance that she will be fast asleep. That oh, that's is, a good Lord, point. Absolutely Lord, Lord, true. Dreamland by this enchanting tale. This is a risky gambit because it could go. You said, I don't like how you look and I don't like your personality. Do you even <laughs> like me? I don't like you. I don't like you. I what? sudden Cho uh, heart attack, a choking death, some yeah. sort of sudden death. And then that she takes that to the grave. Yeah. Got to be careful with this stuff. That's, you also, this is a story where you have to remember the end when you start it. Because if you yeah. get to like, and and he's like, I, I don't like you. Um, And then, oh shit, what was it? What um, was it? Oh man, never mind. Anyway, good night, sweetie. Do this one you. to show her you'll love her forever. A woman was surprised when her husband handed her a bouquet of a dozen roses. She quickly noticed that 11 of them were real and fragrant, while one lone flower was artificial. She asked her husband, why did you give me one artificial rose? He replied, I'll love you until all the flowers in your bouquet die. You can see that I'll never stop loving you. Change the Wait, flowers what? from roses to your girlfriend's favorite flower in order to personalize this story. And surprise your girlfriend with a bouquet of flowers after you finish telling her this tale. She'll be impressed that you planned such a thoughtful surprise. Yeah, if you do that without including one artificial flower in the set, that's a terrible message you've just sent. Yeah. Unlike the person in the story... I will not love you until all the flowers in your bouquet die. In fact, these are accursed petunias. And when the last mm -hmm. one dies, I'm going to leave you, Samantha. And the portable Here, clothes. The yeah, portable clothes. Yeah. Here in the West Wing, you'll find a flower under glass. And if I don't find my true love by the time the last petal falls off the rose, I and all of my servants who have been turned into physical objects will die. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh. Where are you going? Come back. If Not he again. If hadn't been so weird about that crusty ass flower from yep. the beginning, she never would have fucked with it. No, like, no. no way. No way. Oh, that's boring. He's got a flower under glass. Wow, how weird. Everybody's got weird stuff at their house. I yeah, guess. pretty cool. Anyway, the fucking lamp is talking. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one's going to, she's not going to notice some weird old flower in a jar. <laughs> I <just> Fuck. <laughs> I just imagine. <laughs> I just imagine. If Travis was accursed, and then yeah. he had 13 talking knives that, that were <laughs> bouncing around. Let us kill, Father! <laughs> no, Father, no. please, we crave blood! No. You're for carving and stuff. <laughs> I don't think so, Father. Look at the length of my blade, Father. No, we'll, we'll use you for weeds and shit. No. no. Not me, Papa. I'm nasty. Give me to the jugular, Papa. I, it is worth noting that the physical objects do not turn <laughs> sentient. In the legend of the Beauty of the Beast. Now, Justin, this is a I good point. disagree <laughs> because there is silverware which has no face or voice. Okay, but at the end of the show, uh huh. <laughs> at the end of the show, Mrs. Potts doesn't just turn into a pot. Yeah, at the end of the show, the home is moving ready. Is what I'm saying. There's nothing there. There's nothing. The first thing Beauty and Beast are doing on Saturday morning is going to Target. Hit like, Ikea. No, we don't yeah. have trash cans. We don't have you know lamps. The place is pitch black. There's not a <laughs> bite to eat. We're we're. I've had Papa John's three times. No, they're no. fine now. Yeah, okay. they're fine. Now. So then, who decided had to who had to be like fucking spoons and forks and plates and shit? God. And who got like a f oh okay? God did. God decided oh boy. based on how much sin they had. Well, that's why okay. Chip was a fucked up cup. Yep. One day, a girl asked her boyfriend what he loved about her. She expected him to start listing random things that he liked about her personality, appearance, and so on. Instead, he said it was impossible to make a list. When she asked why, he said, because I don't love you for a reason. I love you for who you are without explanation. That, that doesn't mean shit. That doesn't mean anything. Sensical. That doesn't Utterly. mean stuff. 
I lo- I don't love you for a reason. I love you because of who you are. Okay, what about me? <laughs> what about who I am? It's just a general thing. You could literally say anything. Like, I have a good sense of humor. Come on, bud. What a cop Something. out. Something. I'm fine if you say it's because I'm rich. I am. I also love that about me. Tell this cute story if you want to flatter your girlfriend. A couple was lying in bed one morning when the husband took a selfie with his wife. She'd just woken up and complained, why did you have to take a photo with me when I'm not ready? I'm a mess. He answered that he took the photo so he'd always remember how naturally beautiful she was. Aww, perfect. Everyone loves this. Once again, how do I bring this up? How does this come up? In conversation. Um, you, I guess just do it. This is less a story than it is a thing you could do that would be incredibly, just hugely gross. Yeah. Hugely, hugely. You don't have to do all that work for just me. Yeah, but you, <laughs> still, took, you still took a picture of me while I was like half asleep. Like, How about just don't take a picture how about you ask before you take a picture? Yeah, yeah, right? Like, how about no consent? good? No good. Um, unconditional love. Um, once there was a girl and boy once. who fell in once there was a girl oh. and a boy who fell in love. The girl came from a rich family while the boy had. Yeah, nothing. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Their relationship thrived even though they struggled at times. Eventually the couple succeeded and could live comfortably. When someone asked okay. the man how he'd accomplished so much, he explained that the woman's love motivated him to work hard and achieve his goals. And having the net, the money to back his like plans was probably the pretty great end too. Of well, now story. hold on. Wait, now hold on. How were you able to build this business from scratch? Well, my wife inspired me, and also financed uh, my financed business. My so small business. Uh, that was very helpful. If I'm being honest, I couldn't have done it without her support and bankroll. This organic. I love her. Un- I love my her. incredibly rich wife unconditionally. <laughs> unconditionally. Unconditionally, except for the. What this? What can I need this oil-based body spray business? And my <laughs> wife is very much a vector for that. Um. Oh man, what's wrong, Griff? You got a just a lot of these stories are kind of boring. One evening, oh. a man came home with a huge bouquet of flowers for his wife. She was surprised since it wasn't a holiday, her birthday, or their anniversary. Yikes. She, oh, she you're asked, doing it bad, bud. When she asked what the occasion was, her husband said, every day with you is a reason to celebrate. So Apparently this is a, not. This is, a, this is a story that you can tell your partner about a nice thing a fictional person did <laughs> that you have not decided to replicate tonight. This is a lie because, and they're all lies, but- if she's surprised, yeah. it means he's never done this before. Right. And then he's like, every day is a day to celebrate. And she's like, we've been married 16 years, bud. What the yeah. fuck? Why have you not done this before? I didn't want to celebrate those days. Submitted for I was still approval. thinking about 9-11, and it's really <laughs> bothering me. I didn't yeah. feel like celebrating yet, and I had a big breakthrough today with my therapist about getting over 9-11, and I'm finally ready so to celebrate. flowers. Hey, submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. A guy was meeting his parents girlfriend's parents for the first time. Wait, did he you say little... beating? Beating? I thought you said beating. <laughs> okay, I was beating his girlfriend's <laughs> what parents. What an intro. Whipping their asses <laughs> Suddenly, up and down the Suddenly the, the dining street. room window shatters <laughs> and through it leaps your boyfriend. He's wailing on your dad. Oh no, he's wailing on your mom. No one can stop him. A but guy. they weren't your real parents. They were evil alien clones and that's how much he loved his her. special Good sunglasses. Good night, baby. <laughs> Good night. I love you. He had special sunglasses. A guy was meeting his girlfriend's parents for the first time. He was a little nervous but everyone had a nice time when the boyfriend left the girl's dad turned to her and told her that he could tell the boyfriend loved her she asked her dad how he knew that and he said honey he looks at you the same way i look at your mom so dope i love this one and he looks at your mom the same way i look at your mom (laughs) which is he looks at me the same way you look at that sandwich and he Where? looks at the dog the same way he looks at that lamp. Hey, he looks at the cat the way the cat looks at the cat's own asshole. It's hey, a, he's a great guy. Hey, where is your boyfriend and my wife? <laughs> I haven't seen them in a few minutes. What a romantic fella. <laughs> what was his last name again? Did you say Milf Hunter? That oh, can't be no. Right. Get it? Disgusting. Richard uh, wait, Milf Hunter. Of the Concord Milf Hunters? They can't be trusted. 
Um, Why hey. the cameras? I meant to ask. <laughs> I did. I did. Well, he's got his own business, you say. That's he lovely. He a ring light. Oh, you funded his business. Well, yeah, honey. Oh, no. you're funding. You want to encourage him to his dream of tracking down the hottest MILFs. <laughs> okay. I understand. I get I it. Understand. Hey, am I great because in this context, mounting has two meanings. Hey, am I being cuckolded presently? (laughs) I love this. Um, (laughs) Hey, all right. So time for, without any transition whatsoever, the next subject is called Outlander. Once a nurse from World War II was mysteriously transported back in time to 18th century Scotland. She met a headstrong warrior and was compelled to marry him. As she got Uh to know him better, they fell in love and had a passionate relationship. Their love was truly destined. Griffin. Yeah. Is one story they suggest telling your girlfriend the plot of the The time series The time traveler's wife. Once a girl fell in love with a man who appeared and disappeared throughout her life. He had a genetic disorder that caused him to time travel at different points within his life. Is that legit? I don't think that's what it is. (laughs) can't be right. The story of Groundhog's Day. One day a weatherman was being pretty shitty about stuff. It's recessive. My great grandpa had it, and I also have the genetic disposition to appear and disappear throughout your life. Despite these challenges, honey, are we gonna have kids? Oh, I don't know. The chance that we raise a time traveler, time traveler's husband. My great grandpa had it and has it and will have it. (laughs) (laughs) Despite these challenges, they fell in love and got married. Nothing could truly separate this couple who was destined to be together. Sounds like an exhausting movie. Yeah. Once this baby came from Krypton and landed on Earth, and then these parents adopted him, which was pretty cool. And then he met this reporter, and she died in a car accident where the car got sucked into the Earth, and he flew around the Earth backwards and saved her life. Well, good night, honey. Good night. I love you. All right, I'm not. That's the plot of Superman. Enjoy Superman too. Okay, so okay, let me just boil it down (laughs) for you. So basically, Dennis Quaid's like this pilot, right? Mm -hmm. But then he has to get shrunk down Mm -hmm. to go into somebody else's body. No, no, you're thinking of Randy Quaid. Uh, Dennis Quaid. His brother. Okay, let me start over. Dennis Quaid. Yeah, he's not like. I mean, he's in a lot of Christian movies. Randy Quaid is actually a struck project right now, guys. Um, (laughs) There once was a family. I'm not going to tell you the name of this one. There once was a family with five daughters. The parents hoped to marry them off to rich men. One day, a wealthy man moved into the neighborhood, but the brightest daughter sparkled sparked an instant dislike to him and the feeling was mutual. Many misunderstandings and declarations of love later, the two learned to appreciate each other and Mm. realize that their love was meant to be. This is uh, th- this oh this one's a wiki how a rich for sure. Oh you yeah, make- no 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 that one we call uh, hubris and humility. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, you may get bonus points from your girlfriend if you try to tell the story with a British accent. Now that's great because if there's room for you may not Wait. get bonus points from your girlfriend. <laughs> so you're you telling me get- if I it- launch into the plot of Pride and Prejudice in a British accent, ass- is that what that ass- was? Uh, yeah, assumedly completely unprompted. My girlfriend is like, wow, bonus points. Yeah, bonus points. Are you passing it off as your own? What's that? your own tale? Your own authentic tale? No, this is Pride and Prejudice. And I I know, but are you trying to sell it like, hey, this is something I just came up with. Tell me what you think about it. Hey, babe, here's something just straight off the dome. You ready? It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in one of a wife. Anyways, uh, the bedroom's over there. The bedroom's <laughs> right there. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. You up? I just had an incredible thought of a, a beautiful giant boat that is doomed and a love that will live on forever inside mm. the doomed boat. If you Are you up? It's going to be about two hours and 45 minutes start to finish yeah, for me to tell you. You please use the head now. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to have to stop. And spoiler alert, Billy Zane's in it. <laughs> Second half is mainly me doing sound effects. Yeah. I do have to warn you. Um, once an old man visited an old woman in order to tell her a story about a young couple that was in love. He recounts mm-hmm. the decades that they loved, struggled, and connected with each other. Every day the old woman would forget who the old man was. In the end, yep. she realized for a brief moment that they're the couple in the story and that he still loves her. 50 first dates. 50 first dates. <laughs> um, Snow White eats a poison apple and falls into a sleeping death. What? Good night. What? Good, now it's time to find your own sleeping death, babe. Um, Here's some butterfly kisses. And then Romeo and Juliet. 
So that's some tips for you to spark things up in the bedroom. Nicholas sparked things up in the bedroom by just Hell explaining yeah. the plot of the notebook, please, to me now. Yep. Or do the one now where let's, let's die next to each other. Do the one where Kobe Smolders is a ghost. Okay, so there's this, Kobe Smolders is in it. And I think she's a ghost, she, and, but she's the ghost of the husband. And she's like, go for it. Good night. She loves that he's like sleeping with someone else. She loves She's, to watch and be, and she takes, she gets in the lamp and she yeah. flickers the lights in yeah, Morse yeah, code yeah. and says, I love this. And it's Cody yeah. Smulders from How I Met Your Mother and Marvel. So anyway, then Han, no, he's alive at this point yeah. because it's in a different point in the chronology. Honey, you please wake up. Hey, 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 hey. not yet. Wake up. Stay with me. This isn't for my benefit. And then I think it's they both, not for Han. I think they both turn into birds. It's been a while since I've seen the the movie. Um, we hey, baby, go. now could you tell me about Avatar? <laughs> <laughs> tell me about Avatar. I still haven't seen it. Can you explain Avatar to me? No, no, not the Airbender. I've seen that one. The I, one with the blue people. I have genuine trouble falling asleep. I would say most nights. If my wife tried to recount to me the plot of Avatar, a film I have not, and at this point, I feel like out of principle, we'll never see. Oh, I think come that on. Get you don't mean that, done. right? Did you see Way of Water? No. Juice, no. I didn't see the first one. Well, that was a wild I... thing. I <laughs> I also have not seen Avatar, but what you're suggesting, Justin, is that Griffin and I, having not seen Avatar, would see the previews for Way of Water and be like, well, yum, yum. can't miss that one. I Sounds good. Buy, I wouldn't blame you. Honestly, you're not. You'll be fine. Hey, look over there. Guys, it's the money zone. Let's go to it. Are you guys Americans? I'm asking you a jest. It's not like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, born and bred. Okay. Did you know only 22% of Americans speak a language other than English at home? Mm. No, I don't know why I would know that. Yeah, it's, it would be wild if that was just like a fact you had ready to pull off the dome. But now you know that. And yeah. this fall, you can start speaking a new language with Babbel. Why Babbel? Because it works and they paid us to tell you it does. So instead of paying hundreds of dollars, now that's nobody- a weird. That's a weird tack to take here, Trav. Well, I just want to. Why Babbel? Because no one else is telling is paying us to tell you about them. That's you know the what I mean? honest truth. The other honest truth is I use Babbel brushing yes. up on my Spanish, which I learned for six years and then sadly forgot. Uh, and it's gr- it really is very good. And I it's the only language app I feel like I've stuck with in a, in, a, in any I kind have- of way. In my home, especially to my children, I've established myself as a goofy doofus or goofus, if you will. And occasionally, when I actually do know something and I'm not making a joke, like I also studied Spanish for many years in high school. And like one of my daughters will ask like how to say something in Spanish and I'll tell them and they're like, that's not it, silly daddy. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Okay. Oh. <laughs> but oh, Babel, no. is, uh, Babel is truth and you can trust it, unlike Travis. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's a special limited time offer for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription only for our listeners at babbel.com slash my brother. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash my brother, spelled B A B B E L dot com slash my brother. Rules and restrictions may apply. Um, hey, listen, do you have a, a special cat? Yeah. Do you have a special cat? Is your cat special? Yeah. Do you love your cat? Do yes. you want to give your cat the best? food available to them possible yeah well then you need to check out smalls honestly my cats are pretty picky which is one of the more boring sentences i've ever said in my entire life but it, it is it is accurate they went wild for this stuff they felt they've been they were really nagging at me to, to hook them up with some more uh because it is delicious and they it, it is real actual food um it doesn't stink you you could like eat hell. it you could eat it you may probably don't want to, but like you, you, you can. And they've and here's here's what's cool. They just kicked off a partnership with the Humane Society, donated over a million dollars worth of food to help cats through the Humane Society, and they even give you a chance to donate a checkout. Which I bet you Garfield cool. cleaned up like half of that. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Griffin, Garfield's <laughs> not staying with the Humane Society. He lives with John. That's what you think. John died, man. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, and there was no one there to take care of Gar. He ended up at a shelter. Well, they didn't know he died. Small. Oh, and uh, Garfield ate his face off, huh? No, Small. packed on Abu Dhabi. Garfield has. <laughs> wait, so wait. Out. You're saying? Hold on. You're saying John yeah. died 
yeah. and Garfield, afraid crate. of like being incriminated, shipped John's corpse to Abu no. Dhabi. Oh, it was a prank that Garfield was this. doing. He'd found so oh. much success with Nermal. You guys want the money for this advertisement? No, no, no. Let Griffin finish explaining. So John was advertisement. alive. They'll, they're still going to pay it for us. Yeah, he was alive when they put him in the crate, but the, somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean, he he did pass away. Oh man. So if you want to try a better cat food, he's hanging in there. You could, for your picky <laughs> kitty, may reach for smalls. There, but like they'll bring it to your house. You don't even have to reach for it. It'll just be on your porch. They'll ship you it just, to you like Garfield shipped John to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Smalls.com slash my brother and use promo code my brother at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use our code my brother for 50% off your first order. One last time, promo code my brother for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. The human mind can be tricky. Your mental health can be complex. Your emotional life can be complicated. So it helps to talk about it. I'm John Moe. Join me each week on my show, Depression Mode with John Moe. It's in-depth conversations about mental health with writers, musicians, comedians, doctors, and experts. Folks like Noah Khan, Sashir Zameda, and Surgeon General Vivek Murthy. We talk about depression, anxiety, trauma, imposter syndrome, and perfectionism. We have the kind of conversations that a lot of folks are hesitant to have themselves. Listen, and you won't feel as alone, and you'll have some laughs, too. Depression Mode for Maximum Fun at MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, this is KT Wigman, Operations Specialist. I'm here with... Christian Duenas, Producer. And we're both worker owners here at Maximum Fun. October is National Co-op Month. So we're celebrating our brand new co-op and some others with an event called Co-Optober. We've got special events all month long, starting with a live Q&A on YouTube where Max Fun Worker owners will answer your questions on Friday, October 6th, and much more to come. We also want to tell you about some incredible limited edition merch, exclusively available to Max Fun members throughout the month of October. If you're already a member of Max Fun, you've shown that you care about our shows and what we do. If you also want to help launch us into this new cooperative era and show off your support, go ahead and get yourself a hat, a pin, a shirt. We worked with some of our favorite artists to make them really special. For details on merch, all of our upcoming events like Meetup Day and more, visit MaximumFun.org slash Co-Optober. That's C-O-O-P-T-O-B-E-R. Happy Co-Optober. I regularly walk by a house that has a very large bell suspended in the front yard. I really want to ring the bell. It looks loud and it's very pretty, but it's not near the sidewalk. It's about 50 feet into their yard, very close to the front of their house, which has a lot of windows and their lights are always on. My first instinct was to sneak up and ring it at night when I could run away in the dark. But that seems like a rude time to ring a big bell. Correct. Good. Good instinct. Yeah. Chase this, that. Follow that. Is this bell for everyone? What's the best way for me to experience this big bell? I don't know much how long how much longer I can resist. I would guess the bell's around 18 inches in diameter and hangs at about shoulder height. There is no fence or hedges around their yard. It's just a big lawn. Thank you, Bell or High Water in Snoqualmie, Washington. Uh, Snoqualmie, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, God's Lord. country. I love it. I, I, the, now listen. Hey, this place there once called Salish. It was where they filmed the intro shot of Twin Peaks with the Falls. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. Great. Gorgeous. Good people. Good people. I think you can just walk up and hit the bell. Huh. That's During not what I day. thought you were going to say. No, I do. I Here's what I think. They put a bell up. Yeah, that's a good point. They didn't put bell. it in their own home. No. They put it way out there. That's somebody who is fine with you swinging by and ringing the bell. What are they going to, like, imagine the conversation, if they don't approve the action, imagine the conversation that follows. Hey, did you ring my bell? Yeah. Cool. It's a big bell it's and a you big left bell. it outside. It's an outside like, bell. What did you want to have? That's only for me to ring like some kind of maniac. And any, uh, like, no, there's no, there's no, 
legal grounds. You can walk right up there and ring it, no problem. Now, here's my concern. If you're new to the neighborhood, right, maybe this bell has a specific purpose. Yes. Right? This happened one time. I don't know how I got this in my hand. I went to Trader Joe's. I was fairly new to going to Trader Joe's. They had that bell there, and for some reason, I had connected it to something else I had seen somewhere else and thought, ringing this bell is a way to let everyone know I just had some great customer service at this station. Oh, no. And I rang that, that bell. I rang that bell. That's a and they were like, bell. oh, no, no, that's a bell to say we need help. Like, we need assistance for something. I was like, oh, no. Travis, that is one of, the, is that a true story? Because if true so, story. it is one of the most wild it's things chilling. I've ever heard you say. I know. I've heard you recount a lot of rough, rough tales. That is among the rougher. Listen, impulse control can be a real bitch. So. This is the problem with walking around for four knives is you stop fearing God. Society means nothing I know. to you. It's, you can yeah. chaos. fucking bell you want. This is You're my bell. Master. Back off. I know. I threw my knife across the room to ring the bell. It was amazing. Everybody loved it and clapped because they were afraid. But my worry is that you'd ring this bell. And much like uh, if you just came upon a random bell, like on a mountaintop in, a, in, in like a Dark Souls game, it will summon something where yeah. there will be like, oh, this is there's an emergency. This is a, we use this to let everyone know there's like a fire in the neighborhood and we need to, like a bucket brigade. And now yeah. you've, you've, you've created an embarrassing situation. Yeah, you don't want to open up a big gate to Sin's Fortress. All the snakes come out, they're going to hurt you and your family. So yes. that's one thing to worry about. The other thing, I think there's a good answer for this. And the answer is the opportunity you have to ring this big public bell is when you get a text from the National Weather Service alerting you of anything. It could be mm. there's hail in a neighboring county. You are running to that bell. You ring it. What are you doing? Did you see the news? Now they now you have an excuse. You're a public yeah. servant. You're a town yeah. crier. You're a John crier. You're doing important work yeah. out there. Yeah. And let me also just, uh, a fun thing I've been doing in the last like three seconds is looking back over this question and replacing the word bell with trampoline. Um, yes. And it's real fun. It's real fun. Talk about a trampoline that's about 50 feet in the yard. Very close to the front of their house. Diameter, yeah. Really small uh, <laughs> what's the best way for me to experience this big trampoline? Um, I could just go up and jump on the trampoline at night. <laughs> Can I I? Is this I trampoline would, for everyone? I don't even think they notice the bell anymore. Right? Like, oh, uh, somebody's having fun out there with our bell. Like, I'm not going to go out and investigate. To what? To what end? Yeah. They're Maybe. trapped. They're trapped. If I have a bell in my yard and I hear the bell ring, I got to hide. Because I don't want to go make eye contact with that person because I'd be worried that they think I'm mad at them. Yeah. Maybe yeah. ring the bell will turn all their lights off and nobody's done it for them. And their lights are just on all the time because they're like, for, they forgot. Like, how do we turn the lights off? We've never been able to figure out. You ring the bell, lights go off. Oh, boom. Amazing. What if you ring the bell? And like an old lady comes out and she's like, no one's rung that bell since my father died. It's so good to hear it again. Yeah. Thank you. She now here's your fortune. I love yes. you. Good night, honey. That's a good story, too. That's a, that's Once yeah. there was a bell. Warm my cockles. Once there was a bell. And then I a married an old lady. Bell. And she financed my crypto scheme. 50 feet into far. the yard suggests it's a big yard. I mean, it says there's no fence or hedges around the yard. It's just a big lawn. A big lawn. So I think mm -hmm. if you ring it, you could say you thought it was a bell museum mm. or something mm. along along those. Sorry, I thought this was the Bell's big. house. I thought this was the famous. I thought this was Liberty Bell. Yeah. Can you get one of your friends to dress up like a British soldier? Ooh. And then when the neighbor comes out, like, how dare you? You point at your friend like, look. It's on again. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it again. They it's sailed on. around the other side. They're coming at us from the They're other direction. They're coming at us from the other side. They're coming at us through Washington. Very clever. Yeah. They got confused about which Washington it was. <sighs> let's you, get them. Can you, you and me, house owner, let's kill this. Let's <laughs> kill these guys. <laughs> Here's a can, bayonet. I brought an extra one. Can you? And I'm just spitballing here. This may not be anything. But can you put a big bell in your yard and then invite mm. them over to ring your big bell and say like, ooh, I just figured ooh. we could have like a uh, like a, a share. bell off. No, well, no, it's not a competition. We're not. Oh, okay. Um, it's, it's not Christmas with the cranks over here. It's 
you come ring my big bell, and maybe sometimes I'll come over and ring. Oh, forget it. This is stupid. Okay, no, no, wait. wait hold on. Hold no, on. Hold no, on. No, hold on, no. Griffin. Don't give up this, on it yet. There's a way. There is some social engineering we could do here. What if you show up in blue overalls with a big fake mustache and you say, uh, Hi, ma'am. I just wanted to, uh, real quick, I'm doing some bell repair mm-hmm. in the neighborhood. Yes. And uh, we just need to do a quick inspection of your bell just to test to make yes. sure it's safe. And That's good. Very safe. What if you set up next to it 11 bells in descending size from the big bell? You get in there and you're going to play Carol of the Bells. And That's like, cool. no one's going to be fucking mad about that, right? It's an awesome song. Oh, and what's that? It's your friend dressed like a red coat shredding on an electric guitar along with it. Incredible. It's Christmas all the time. Lay your bike down in the yard next to the bell. Ring uh-huh. the bell. Ring the bell. Lay down. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move a fucking muscle. What happened? Did I ring your bell? Yeah, I guess I must have done it with my head. Yeah, this who thing puts is a bell a death here? Trap. Who puts a bell in the middle of a big, open, awesome yard for BMX biking? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but let me call my in. Let's bring insurance into this. Oh, you don't want me to? Then I need a permission slip to ring this bell whenever I want to, please. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to take the bell. I'm going to take just the clapper. Just the clapper, so I'm the only one who can use it. Um, thank you so much for listening to our You're podcast. You're welcome. We hope you, not you. Wow. You barely listened. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I can tell. Yeah. You out. Yeah. Yeah. I was playing you with were, my 13 knives. I'm not going to lie. You waited patiently for your turn to talk repeatedly. Yeah. Hey, I, what, what about these? I hear we got some live shows coming up. Are you guys oh, yeah. hearing about this? Yeah, I've heard yeah. about this uh, on the dark web. And the dark web saying that we're going to be in Philadelphia on October 11th, uh, doing my brother, my brother, and me. Um, and then October 12th, we're at New York Comic Con doing a Taz Hoot Nanny show. And then October 13th, well, we're back at New York Comic Con again doing a my brother, my brother, and me with Sawbones opening. And here's the wild thing the dark web is telling me that New York Comic Con has decided that they no longer require a badge to attend the shows. So whether you are attending New York Comic Con or not, you can still buy tickets to come see the show. And if you have a badge and a ticket, um, then you can attend either show and receive a free show poster as well as the option uh, for priority seating at the show if you choose to redeem that. And there will be tickets available to watch a video on demand of the show online. Get all that information and tickets and whatnot at bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. Man, that's super helpful of the dark web. To yeah, help it's us a spread really nice place. That. It's re- yeah. I love being there. I've yeah. never been scared of it. Thank you to Montaigne for these for our theme song. My life is better with you. Um, Montaigne's got some stuff coming down the pipeline that's going to I, annihilate you, dear dear friends listening at home and brothers. Just to warn you, heads up, you'll be destroyed by the power of this incredible music. We've so, also got some. We've got some brand new merch, and listen, we got some good stuff in there already. But this shit off the fucking chain, Trav Nation. We got a glow in the dark. I found more questions in Kepler, West Virginia pin. That's so dope. very cute. Very good. Amnesty Lodge candle with mm. scents of uh, peppercorn, ginger, spice, tobacco leaf, teak wood, oh. sandalwood, amber, and dark Elon Musk. Oh, sorry, just dark Musk. Elon's okay. not involved. Um, candle Knight's wrapping paper is back. Uh, you can order it soon to get it in time for the holidays. Designed by Justin Gray, aka at Burn to Build on Instagram. And ten percent of all merch proceeds this month go to N A R A L Pro Choice America, which fights for access to abortion care, birth control, paid parental leave, and protections from pregnancy discrimination. All of that at MacroyMerch.com. Can we harmonize on this one? Like, I make wish an we effort. Would. To- wait, 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 wait. Oh. Just an effort to make it sound nice and not okay. Scary. It defeats the purpose of the sound. Okay, you start. Okay. That wasn't very good. You guys did the same note. Maybe next time. My name's Justin McRoy. I'm Travis McRoy. We'll flow of Trav Nation. This is my brother, my brother, and me. Kiss your dad square on the lips.
Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.